Inflammatory bowel disease is a complex heterogeneous disorder. In uh, essentially all cases affects the intestine. And what most people know about inflammatory bowel disease is it can cause inflammation, ulceration, bleeding uh, in the intestine. Um, but also it's a systemic inflammatory disease. And what not, every, what not everyone appreciates is that that systemic inflammation can affect sites other than the intestine. It can affect the skin, the eyes, uh, the liver, uh, but most commonly the joints. And really up to 30% uh, of the patients uh, that we see uh, can have active joint symptoms can have active arthritis. What our laboratory work is really focused uh, on trying to understand is how the bacteria uh, within the intestine educate the immune system. And not only how it affects the immune system within the intestine, but how it affects immune cell activation outside of the intestine. And particularly in patients with IBD-associated joint inflammation. What this work uh, has allowed us to do is to identify uh, certain bacteria, certain immune responses uh, to bacteria that allow us to diagnostically, uh, scientifically characterize these patients and identify folks who may benefit uh, from earlier therapeutic intervention. What this type of research is going to allow us to do is to uh, identify clear diagnostics uh, that will allow physicians to choose medicine A for patient with one uh, result and medicine B for a patient with another result. I think that that is not only going to keep patients safer, um, but it's going to allow us to develop more targeted therapies.